Hi, I'm Anna and this is how I make my custom jackets. I'm just gonna like go through the process from like start to finish, from concept to the end. So let's get going. Hello, excuse me, I've just come out of the shower, but I had an idea to film this, so I thought I may as well start it now because I'm in the middle of doing it. So I thought I'd start now, seeing as she's just sent through the pictures of the design idea. This this also isn't my room, so that's why we're so to start with, she has ordered a denim jacket, size medium, in mid-wash, and she's ordered a large design. In her message she said that her friend, this is for her friend, her friend loves nature, books, her dog, travelling, and fairy lights. So anything with these would be incredible. So, so she just said to do anything with it, it's not a specific design. Um, but just in case you've never seen any of my videos before um, where I do custom paintings, I use fabric paints and I do a lot of like Bob Ross kind of inspired style so I'm going to stick to that kind of style for the landscape. But the first thing I'm going to do is draw up a rough design on my iPad and then send that to her before we start any painting. So what I started doing was just pulling up some screenshots I'd taken of her messages and that had the picture of all of her friends' favourite things like her dogs and hikes and all of that. So from there I could drew Drew. I could draw this really really rough design um, and then I went through Google and I just pulled up a bunch of pictures of some German Shepherds which was the breed of a friend's dog just because in the idea I had I needed the dog to be in a different pose than in the pictures that I had of it so I just went through here and took the head from her dog and just tried to draw around it it looks really weird here but <laughs> it's just to give a more accurate idea to her friend of what it was going to look like so I just went through and did that and then added in one of her hiking pictures and tried to draw around that as well. And then I just went through and added some colour. Okay, I just finished it. Uh, so what I thought for this design was this idea of an open book and then in the open book being a landscape with her dog on like the, the rock thing, like the ledge. So this is the final kind of idea. I'm going to send this to her now and then see what she says and see if there's any changes to be made, if she likes it. We'll go with a different idea, we'll do that, and then when I get to the studio and it's all sorted, we'll get to actually painting. So I've done the design and now I'm gonna start painting it. So let me grab the jacket. Here is the actual jacket that we're working with. It's got a really big back panel. The only annoying thing is gonna seam down the middle, but it'll be fine. First thing I'm gonna do is just draw the outline and then back it in with the white paint. So it gives me more vivid colors then. I bought this easel, this stand-up easel and this like whiteboard so that I can put the jacket over the top so I can stand up and paint because it's a lot easier than putting it on the desk and trying to reach over as well as my desks aren't very deep so when I have a big jacket design it's not very easy to put the whole jacket on the table without getting big creases in it. I also use these big dress clips to keep it in place on either side. Voila! So I use this erasable marker and then I just go draw the design. Okay so that marker was too erasable it literally just came out in two seconds because it got in my room so I'm just gonna go in and trust myself to use a permanent marker. This is my white paint, it's my textile paint. I This is like my sixth bottle of it this year. So we're going through this giant thing of paint. I've got my giant paintbrush and it's not, it doesn't look very giant in comparison to the bottle. I should get a bigger paintbrush. Anyway. takes forever. Here's what it looks like. It looks a bit weird at the moment. Um, here's the design for reference. Um, so there's the book. Obviously I'd put in the pages afterwards and I'm gonna like fade this into the jacket around the edges. That's why there's like these rough edges around the side but I'm gonna fade it a bit more into the jacket. So yeah, I'm excited with how it looks so far. Um, I'll probably be back tomorrow with an update where I'll start actually blocking it out and painting it. Voila! I'm back. So it's the next day. I'm here with my jacket and my pen. I cringe at myself so hard. I'm here with my jacket, my pen, and I'm gonna draw out this design. I'm gonna pop it on here, just like the rough outline, and then I've got some paints mixed and I'm gonna start blocking out the background. So I'm gonna start drawing first. So 
So here's how it's looking. It looks so rough at the moment. And I'm gonna try and paint, I think, starting with the sky and then move into the mountains like I do with all my Bob Ross paintings. I'm gonna put some clouds into the top and then I've gotta leave it dry so that I can then go back in with the detail then over the top. Um, and also just show you what I'm doing while I'm doing this. I've got three other Bob Rosses on the go right now. So you can kind of see the same thing here. I've done all the back colors and then I'm gonna go, this is upside down by the way. I'm gonna go through and do all the light ones on that. I'll keep you updated on those too. Whoop. This is all like a bunch of stock and everything in here. So if you guys wanna see a video of stuff that I have like pre-made in stock as well that I use for like markets, to the, like 20 people who watch it. If you want to see, let me know. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. I've just added in a few more clouds, a little bit more depth to the sky. Um, I'm going to brighten up obviously like the sunshine bit, it kind of blend in a little bit more red. And I've defined these mountains in the back. I was originally going to put snow on them, but I decided the ones in the back are too distant. So I'll probably start adding in some colors. These ones coming from the side here, I've started to like define them. It's a highland. Anyway, I'm pretty exhausted now. Oh my god, wrong time to record. Should record what I hail. Anyway, here's what my Bob Ross ones look like. Here's how these other ones that I'm working on look. There's that one. Here's this little sunset moment we've got on these. These are both dungarees. And this is how this one's coming along. And as I was saying on this one before my camera died, I'm probably gonna just start do some more on this tomorrow because I gotta go. And it's hailing. Woo, happy Thursday. Oh my God, I literally just nearly knocked everything over. I think we're on a walk. I'm wrapping my Toronto Raptors jumper today. Another day of working on this lovely thing. So, I'm just gonna add in a little bit more detail, starting from the back, working towards the front. So, the first thing we're gonna do is start working on the mountains in the back, adding a little like illusion of some trees and rocks and stuff like that. And then we'll work towards the front where we can start working on the dog and the book, so. Let's go. Thought I'd also give you a little update on the Bob Rosses I was working on before. Also, I'm wearing my favorite AIM top right now, which is kind of silly because I can just get paint all over me uh, on days like today, especially when I'm painting something that's like upright and I'm not leaning over, but hopefully my apron will keep me protected. Beautiful blue sky. Also, I am aching so badly. It's the first week they're able to be back in person for dance. Three and a half hours Tuesday, and then I did an hour and a half last night of like a class I'd never gone to before. And it was amazing, but it's so hard, and it was like hip hop, and I don't do hip hop, so. I'm aching absolutely everywhere, and I've got another three and a half hours of dance tonight, so if you see me moving around like a broken old man, that is why. Here's how this pair is looking. Today has been largely unsuccessful between just helping out my parents and looking after my nieces and stuff. That's okay. So I haven't really done that much on the jacket. Um, I've got dance and stuff this evening, like I said earlier. So anyway, here's how the jacket's looking. Um, as you can see, I've started to like add in the details on the rocks and then I've done like the basic blocking for the dog. When I come in tomorrow, I will finish it. See you then. It is Friday morning and here we are. We are finally gonna finish this today. I am aching and very tired. I just stayed at night to watch Toronto Raptors until 4 a.m. just to watch them lose in overtime. I'm going to detail the dog, 
add finishing touches to the rest of the background and then paint the book. So let's get on with it. This is the bit now where it's really important for me to pull up my reference picture so that I can actually get a good detail on the dog's face so it actually looks like her dog not just a random dog. So what I'm gonna do is put up my reference picture here on my phone and then I've got my three fabric pens and I'm gonna go over the main details with the fabric pens and then go over with the paints afterwards. And then for the book, just gonna, I think I'm gonna do red. I think that'll work quite nicely. So I'm just gonna start doing that. This bit's making me so nervous because I'm wearing my favourite white top. I'm not a big fan of the bright red. I think I might mix some red with some black. Yeah, that's better. It's better than the primary red. Okay, I'm just adding in the lines now using my fabric pen. <laughs> I'm so happy. I've got to eat some lunch and go off to dance now, so this is great timing. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. If you did, give it a like and all that kind of jazz. Leave me a comment if you want to see stuff like this again in the future. I do customs all the time, so it would be really easy to do stuff like this more often. Uh, also, if you want to see anything, studio tour, looking at any of my other collections, I don't know, just let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. 